Let's just uh, about an hour and a half till the Grammys kick off. And while not every nominee will take home a prize, no one's going to go home empty handed. No, every presenter and nominee gets a goodie bag worth tens of thousands of dollars. And Kylie Spear will join us from LA with the details. In fact, she's here right now. Kylie, good morning. Good morning, guys. You are totally right. The swag bag is the best consolation prize in the business. This year it's worth a whopping $25,000 and I got a sneak peek at some of the amazing loot on offer. Take a look. When you're watching celebs walk the red carpet, dripping in diamonds and strutting in their designer duds, it's easy to forget that deep down they're just like the rest of us and they can't resist a good freebie. But the concept of the freebie is taken to a whole new level when it comes to the Grammy Gifting Lounge. Every presenter and nominee will receive almost $12,000 worth of holidays, including a trip to Las Vegas and a luxury Mexican getaway. They also get a guitar valued at $1,250 and $800 worth of bling. With everyone from Lady Gaga to Katy Perry, Robin Thicke and Stevie Wonder attending today's awards, the goodie bags need to pack a punch. And they do, thanks to gift guru Lash Berry. I mean, can you think of anything more iconic and perfect than this product for the Grammy Awards? I want one in my home. He's been putting swag bags together for 15 years and knows how to impress even the hardest to please A-lister. What are some of the most sought-after gifts that celebs are really loving this year? Well, you know what? I think that there'd be a boycott amongst celebrities if we didn't have Solstice sunglasses here. Alicia Keys literally came and she's like, I need new sunglasses. Jamie Foxx always loves them. LL Cool J, obviously he's always in cool shades. Yes! So any celebs come through and think, you know what, I'm going to take more than one or two. I'm going to stockpile some of the amazing gifts. Rihanna came through a couple years ago and she had a few of her girlfriends here with her. And they end up going around having a girlfriend shopping experience. So I think they did end up walking with about 17 pairs of sunglasses. Ricky Martin, for example, when he comes through, like he's got twin boys. And so he needs two robots. You know, you can't go home. You know, if you have a kid, you know. You Imagine. cannot go home with a gift for one kid and not for the other. I want to rock right now. How do you choose what actually goes into the lounge? PR companies know that they could launch a product here and we get contacted. So there is a cost. That's not a secret. It's a cost to have your product here in the lounge. And I also have a sales team who is very actively pounding the pavement and calling folks and going to trade shows and, you know, scouring online articles about new products. So we're pitching our services too. So those are really the two elements. And then the third is, is the product interesting? You know, we are gifting folks who have everything. Well, there you go. Some amazing gifts on offer in the bag this year. And Sonia and David, I may have just picked up a little thing for you too. I'll put it in the post, I promise. Oh, that is so good. She's not going to put it in the post, no, is she? No, we're never going to get that present. <laughs> it's not that I don't trust her, but how come they don't do stuff like that at the Loki's? Yeah, they do. What? No, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> I went there and, and, well, I mean, I got an espresso. Oh, yeah, actually they do. You Not do a machine, a they bag. just gave me a little Nespresso here before little... I went on stage, like wake up and go and, and, you know, I didn't even get a Logie. So they're taking note of this all right now, David, and they'll be putting together your gift bag as we speak. I've been looking forward to it, Logies. Up